Talking shit with Matt and Quinn. How are you, man? Good, buddy. How's it going? Uh, just trying not to lose everything with this ridiculous economy. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm broker than Amber Heard. Oh. <laughs> no, not really. Pay. <laughs> she, Actually, she doesn't pay, apparently. <laughs> she doesn't pay. Did like, you see her yesterday when she was shopping at TJ Maxx? <laughs> She's she shopping at TJ Maxx now. It's because they're only accountable for winning that $7 million lawsuit a while ago she, and she never paid the charity or whatever. Oh, that's, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And then she has to pay fucking Johnny Depp $8 yeah. million. Yeah. That bitch is like deep, deep in the hole, huh? She better go out with Elon Musk again. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for, right. She went out with the. I forgot about that. Oh, so today's episode, we're going to be talking about Johnny Depp because, of course, well, that's where it's all anyone's talking about. Yeah. That and how erratic Elon Musk is. My God, now he's talking that's about crazy. Dogecoin again. Dogecoin? This fucking guy needs what? to just stop. Why would he do that? Because I What's think I think that uh, the Twitter deal is starting to move forward again uh -huh. uh, at forty four billion dollars, and I think what he's doing is he's pumping up the stock so he can or the 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 crypto so he can sell it. Uh, so he yeah, because he probably lost like because he doesn't have shit. he doesn't have any fucking money. Yeah, he really doesn't have any money. And people talk about how big of a billionaire Elon Musk is. Motherfucker, boy, dude, I'm richer than that motherfucker. I can tell you that right now because I can go out in public, I can walk out in public, and I can tell you that my debts are minuscule compared to his debts. If he were to turn around and sell everything that he has, it would all go into paying debts. He has he has no real estate. He has no assets. He has no yeah. place to live. He has no car. He doesn't even have a Tesla. He doesn't have anything. Like, literally, he is completely broke. He is sleeping on He is probably $300 billion in debt. Damn. Literally. Yeah. Literally. Probably. Yeah. Because it's everything is wrapped up in the shares. Yeah. Everything's wrapped up in the shares. If you were to turn around and, sh and sell all those shares, then what? Those tanks would stop. The, the tanks would stop. The, the, the stocks would tank. Yeah. This isn't about Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole okay, other episode. So we're going to talk about Johnny Depp today. Yeah. Who it was funny because yeah. I was looking up his his name. I thought for sure maybe it was a stage name. No, it's his real name. Yeah, it is. John Christopher uh, Depp. And apparently he's my. I'm related to him, within like five cousins. No. Huh. So he's like and you dated cousin. the girl from fuck the fucking. You dated the the heiress of In and Out Burger. Yeah. Which I still need to hear the rest of that story. That'll be a different episode. That'll be a completely different episode. But then, uh, we're going to talk about best Johnny Depp episodes today. Yeah, like movies. Or movies. Johnny Depp episodes. Johnny Depp episodes of shows and movies. So is Tell there me. a reason why he talks like this? Like, is that like a, is it a proper thing or what is that? It's probably a character he did in the movie and he loved <laughs> Just, that specific one and he stuck with it and then he said this is who i am because Hello. he really gets into his characters like edward scissorhands uh you mean that edward that he wasn't edward scissorhands didn't really have scissors for hands he did he had surgery <laughs> by one of those beverly hills <laughs> plastic surgeons they're pretty good out there if you ever do plastic surgery go to Beverly Hills <laughs> seriously so, tell them talking shit radio is <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about Johnny Depp John, um, Johnny Depp Johnny Depp Johnny Depp on uh, the talking and, shit with Matt and Quinn on talkingshitradio.com in my mega point <laughs> <laughs> mm. alright so uh, what's the best what do you think the best Johnny Depp movie is well, I love the Pirates of the Caribbean. See, I never really got into those. Yeah. Well, I never I really mean, got into those. I, I don't know. I, like <laughs> I, I think he's hilarious in those. I, the I little dance was, the, the running was funny. Yeah. His little, uh, Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, oh, his faces. But I really like Don Juan DeMarco. See, I never saw that. that. What is that? That was so good. It's like, he was like, just a lover of women and stuff, and... Uh, I think Marlon Brando played like his 
Therapist? Okay. Okay, so I just remember the movie. So, and Marlon Brando was retiring and he's married to his wife for all like 50 years mm -hmm. and just wasn't living life. And then he met Don Juan DeMarco, which was Johnny Depp. And he talks about all of his loves of his life and how he loved over a thousand See, women. That's and he's made It's a downplayed Marlon, role, isn't it? Yeah. Because Johnny and June was oh, fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like, seriously, is it Donnie and June? Johnny and June? Ben, Benny and June. Benny and June. Benny and June. Ben, ben, Dude, yeah, that, that movie, movie was fucking incredible. Hey, listen to me. I don't even yeah. know the names of the movies. I don't even know the names of my own We movies. don't know the names of the movies, but Johnny Depp was no, a good actor. Dude, he was so good in that. And it was just such a downplayed role. Yeah. It, yeah, it's Benny and June. Benny and June. And then, and then you get into... Um, you know, that way go way back to the Twenty One Dump Jump Street. Yeah, that was he was really good. Guy. And then Edward Scissorhands. Like, how do you how do you get ready for a role like Edward Scissorhands? Okay, and then uh -huh. you advance through your career. Yeah, Benny and June came after that. Yeah, and then I mean he did he did that was that Rango? Or yeah, R Ringo, R Ringo, 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 something Ringo. like that. It was a but then he Rango, did, yeah. yeah. So he did Rango, and then he does freaking Sleepy the Hollow. The Professor. I mean, there's the so many good movies, you just have to like... Oh, Transcendence. The, the Lone really Ranger, good. dude. Yeah. I mean, you just sit back and you just scroll through his... through, And you're like, oh my god, I totally it's remember that. Window. Holy shit. Oh, Sleepy Hollow was really good. The Tourist. Yeah. Did you see The Tourist? Oh, yeah. Duh, that was so Fuck. good. That, I for, it's like he did so many good movies that you forget sometimes. That's what I'm How saying. You're like... His movies were... Correct. Great. You're just like, holy shit, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Yeah, that was... I mean, that's fucking that way back movie. there. Public Enemies. I want to go watch fucking Public Enemies now. Yeah. Um... Nightmare on Elm Cry, Street. Cry Baby, did you ever see that? I didn't see that. Really? And That's I didn't see the Alice in Wonderland, and I didn't see... Those were a little different. I didn't see the um, Charlie Actually. and the Chocolate Factory. And part of it for me is, is I'm just not into those types of movies. I never saw the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I know that's like, that's literally like a sin. Yeah. But... It just doesn't do anything for me. Right, it's not your thing. It's just not my thing. But I saw it's Top Gun like, the day it came out. Both right. of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're really good. I like but it. I saw I the original like one when it came out. Me too. Yeah, so, back in the day. 1986. 1986. 1986, yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy that he acted in A Nightmare on Elm Street. So. The original. The Pirates of the uh, Caribbean originally was going to cast somebody else. Do you remember who that was? Uh, I don't remember now. Wasn't it blonde guy? I want to. I want to say it was like it was supposed to be like Matthew Broderick or something. So Pirates of yeah. Caribbean. Oops. Originally cast. Let's see. Who else was considered for Jack Sparrow? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey was originally cast. And Robert De Niro was another actor who was actually turned down for the role. I mean, huh. you can't compare those two to Johnny Depp. No. You not can't. At all. If they would have turned, if Jim Carrey had taken the role of Captain Jack Sparrow, it would have turned it into a circus. It would have sucked. Already then. <laughs> I ain't even talking out his ass. <laughs> I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> All righty. Oh, right. <laughs> that would have been retarded. <laughs> right? Can you see him at Disneyland? <laughs> like, apparently they have a costume for uh, Johnny Depp to uh -huh. come anytime he wants to throw it on. Oh, no So he could act at the Disney Pirates of the Caribbean. Could you That's imagine large. Jim Carrey doing that? He's like, oh, all right. Then. Jim Carrey's too big of a dick, though. Yeah, he's just he, a jerk. He really is. Well, he played in the movie jerk. He's just, he's just not, I mean, there's just too many stories of him just being a complete asshole. That, yeah. I mean, I've never he's met mad. him. Um, I've never met him, but I just, uh, there's just so many stories that you hear of just him being just a complete asshole. Yeah. 
sucks. Even, even I like a lot of his movies, too. That could be another episode. Um, yeah, we, we'll do, we should do it. We should do one on, on these different celebrities and stuff. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. We, we can do one on, on Bill Cosby. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you think his worst, uh, uh, Johnny Depp's worst movie was? Uh, his worst movie would probably be, uh, well, in a way, I didn't really... What's Eating Gilbert Great was a good movie, but mm -hmm. I also didn't like it. Okay. Just because... It, it was just, so it long ago, I don't remember it. It was good acting. It but was for so For me, long. that's probably one of the worst movies I didn't like. You think so? For me. I'm, real, I'm, trying, I'm trying to, like, rack my brain here. If I were to put my least favorite character of him, even though I've never seen the movie, I would probably say Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And the reason why I say that is that it would be like, for me, it's like them recreating Wizard of Oz. You can't do it. Right. Again, I never the saw the original Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I've seen uh -huh. parts of the original, but yeah. I've never seen the entire movie. Yeah. Because again, it's not really my thing. But... And, and I never liked those kinds of movies as kids either, believe it or not. Right. But the, but when you take a classic like that, uh -huh. it has to maintain the integrity of the classic. You can't go and create a new twist. It. Yeah, like, it's twist. Yeah, like that one, and then like some of his darker ones. I didn't really like it. But see, if we talk, talk John, but, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey did the movie 23, and 23 was fucking awesome. Right. I mean, it was a dark film, but that was he, a cool fucking story. He does cool dark films, and Johnny Depp acts really good in his darker films. Mm -hmm. I'm just not a fan of those, but I think he's awesome. I like... What do you think uh, about him? What do you think about this whole the whole take, case, the uh, the Amber Heard thing? I think they had a vile, volatile marriage, <laughs> and she was pooping in his bed and shitting, you know. And uh, that's just a shitty situation. <laughs> and she <laughs> that hurt his name. I'm actually pissed off that she said that he did stuff to her a few years ago because well, I wanted to see more Pirates of the Caribbean and they're, see they're doing what else one. he could do. They're doing another new one. I know. But it's just the past four years or whatever. I know. I know. He, he hasn't acted very much and I really like his movies. So it's, she took away years of enjoyment correct. of his film. For ever, for a lot of people. The yeah. thing that really, that really gets to me about the whole thing is, okay, their marriage went south. I'm just going to start off with that bitch is hot. Okay, that's a crazy bitch, and I love crazy bitches. But that, she is a slanderous crazy bitch. She's not like the crazy ex that comes over after you guys get into a fight, and it's just a really crazy great time, and then she gets drunk and smashes your mirror off your car. Those are good crazy bitches. She's uh -huh. the crazy bitch that literally would want to kill you and would just drag you out into, the, into a ditch. And like chop you up into a bunch of little pieces. That's a psycho, psycho, crazy bitch. And yeah. the thing that really gets to me about the whole story, the whole case, is, is that he goes as far as suing her publicly and then wins the case. And then now she wants to do a tell-all book and she's going and doing that dateline or whatever. And she's going on here and talking to this and talking about that. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you just told the, the, told the press that you're afraid of him suing you again, yet you continue all of this shit. Right. Like, I can see where their relationship was going south. Like, dude, just stop. Right. Yeah. Just move on. Move Let on, dude. Let it go. But that's the bestest she'll ever get. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Well, I mean, they're trying to erase her from the Marvel No, oh, they movie. did. From fucking, from, from uh, Aquaman, too? Yeah, Aquaman. Yeah, they already deleted her. You know, her. like... They said they're going to cast Johnny Depp in, in her place. <laughs> <laughs> gonna grow blonde hair, <laughs> red hair. <laughs> yeah. So um, no, it's okay. So this is another completely useless episode, but you guys seem to be watching it, so it's it's fun. Yeah. Um, what else do we want to take away from this? That they are working on a fourth one. They're that's working on like the seventh one. 
or six, sixth. For pirates? Yeah. Uh, well, they're working on another one. Yeah. They're bringing them back, they said. Yeah, that'd be good. It'd be cool to go to Disneyland and see them there, I think. Well, that'd you're there cool. every fucking weekend. I know. I try to. I try to be. <laughs> I haven't been there since I was I'll a kid. I'll let you know. We'll have to go sometime. No, I'm good. You're good? You no, go? I, last time I was there, I fell in the man. lagoon. You like, forgot that. I'm falling and I can't get up. I fell in the fucking lagoon. I was three years old. I fell out of a little boat into the lagoon. Mm -hmm. They had to reach in and grab me. I bet you that's only happened five times in the history of fucking Disney, and I'm one of them. Back, they didn't have video on phones back then, so <laughs> we can't see it. <laughs> that would have been fucking hilarious. That would have been a blooper for the, the end reel. All right, guys. Thank right. you so much for watching our, our hilariously shitty show. Uh, if there's any topics you want us to talk about, let us know. And leave the comments down below so we can talk shit about those, too. And go to TalkingShitRadio.com to check out more episodes and reels. Talking shit with Matt and Quinn. Talking shit radio. Talking shit with Matt and Quinn. All right, guys. Hey, thank you for watching. Yeah. Bye.